Traditionally, classrooms look like this, but some of them have started looking more like this, thanks to a method called design thinking, which uses empathy and collaboration to solve problems. A few classes at BVN have started using this method. Here's why. Over time, I realized that the projects and the activities that my kids were doing economics were important to me, but didn't necessarily have any real world value to the kids. So um, all the projects that we done, the project was sort of the end, right? It was the thing that you did and you got graded them based upon this project, but there wasn't any real life application. Uh, so I spent the summer at like a CAPS Institute, uh, working with Scott Kreschel, who is head of the CAPS sort of innovation lab, employing that concept that the class should actually be related to real world economics. And then so together we sort of began to kind of create the process. Could we create something uh, at Blue Valley North that gave students who don't typically benefit from North time something to help them feel more inclusive and benefit the community as a whole? So it turned out to be uh, kids in room 602, so high level special education kids who don't have the same curricular needs as typical kids, but they have an hour in the day that we would love to make them feel more a part of the student body and then provide a service to the student body, which helps with those kids in the special ed learn life skills and job skills and, um, and then actually make a foster a sense of community. So we started with empathy and we had to think about the needs of other students. We had to think of what could possibly benefit the school and then from there we branched off to okay so we have these needs, how can we fulfill these needs? And we just kind of expounded on that and like refined it into our current idea. We are setting up a program that gets the SPED kids involved with everyone in BBN. And our idea was to do a community service type project where we provide necessities to underprivileged kids in the Blue Valley North Feeder Schools. As media and advertising, we had to sort of come up with a brand for our project. So we designed a logo and a name. And the name for our project was The Full Family because foals are baby horses and the mascot for Blue Valley North is the Mustang. So because it's our feeder schools, these are baby Mustangs. Um, I think for the most part, majority of kids we're a little hesitant at first. I think most kids like it. But, um, you know, the problem is that education is sort of given you these parameters, right? We teach, you learn, you get points. You're sort of chicken scratched your way to being educated. And it's our fault, right? We give you a rubric, you only do what the rubric tells you. So some kids are so used to that, that in real design thinking, it can be gray. Right? The kids decide what the project is, the kids decide how to implement it, the kids decide where to go with it, and there aren't all that many points attached to it. So there are some kids who are kind of resistant only because it's so not the norm for them. I like that we're not doing lectures all the time, like in other classes where it's pretty much every day is the same thing. You take notes and the bell rings and you go do your homework. But for this class, we like do something different every day and it's just kind of a different hour of the day in the monotony of like my other classes.